it's Peggy Noe from PrettyPaperCards.com and I'm here with my little dog Ellie, my little Yorkshire Terrier. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and we're here today to do, um, we're going to look at some new stuff from the new catalog and we're going to do a, I'm going to give you um, a video card tutorial on a beautiful set from the new catalog called You're a Peach. Let me check. You're a peach. Yes. And it is wonderful. Now let's see. I'm going to check over here and make sure I'm live. And say hi to everybody. Good to see you guys. Let me know where you're from. It's good to see you. We are excited here. I don't know if you saw, I posted a little while ago, the um, UPS man came and he brought two humongous boxes to my front porch and um, I just got so excited. It's all the orders for my shares, um, the shares of paper and the shares of ribbon that many of you have ordered so that you can try out all the papers and ribbons before you buy a big pack. And I have two more shares available. So if you're interested, uh, private message me or just put something in the comments below if you're interested in getting one of the ribbon or paper shares or both and I can tell you more about it. Um, so I got so excited, I didn't have time to put a bow in Ellie's hair or anything. I was just super excited about um, getting all this stuff and I got some new stuff and that's what I wanna show you today. I'm just very excited and now that the catalog is live, the new 2021-22 annual catalog, I can show you the inside and I'm just so excited to show you the inside and we're gonna look at a few pages today, but we're gonna, we're gonna work with a brand new suite, You're a Peach. So I wanna tell you about a couple of promotions that are going on um, along with the brand new catalog. There's a special Join Plus promotion and if you have a big wish list, $99 plus, um, it's worth it to join Stampin' Up. There's no obligation at all. You Right now, you get an extra $30 in free stuff. So for $99, that's all you pay, you get $155 in product, any product you choose from the brand new catalog. And um, the January to June catalog is still, um, we're still selling from that until June 30th. So any of that product you can get for 150, you pay only 99 and you get $155 worth of product and it all ships free. There's, you never have to do another thing. But if you do, you might wanna purchase your own stuff at 20% off. That's why I joined. So it's a really great promotion. You know, you're actually getting $56 worth of product free and you're not paying for shipping, which is a huge deal. So that's our one of our promotions. Let's see who's here. Diane, good to see you. Um, Diane, Patricia, the new peach paper is your favorite. I just got it today. I just got it and we're gonna take a look at it. This is one of my favorites, one of my favorite new sets. Okay, another promotion that's going on right now is called Connect, Craft, and Collect. Basically, what it means is if you collect a few other people that want to order with you um, and like have a little workshop or have a few friends over that want to order and your order totals $250 or more, they're going to give you an extra $25 in rewards. So that's with an individual order or a workshop order or really any kind of order um, of $250 or more, you're going to get $25 extra in product. Ellie is totally falling asleep here. It's a warm day. It's it's in the high 80s here today, and she's kind of getting sleepy. And I really don't want to take any more time to talk. I want to show, so we're going to let her take her nap. And I'm going to put on the new catalog. I'm going to put that up for you. And we are going to be able to look in it. I am so excited. Um, now, I got some stuff. So in the pre-order for demonstrators, um, I got just about everything I could in the pre-order, but you're not allowed to get, we're only allowed to get certain things and we're not allowed to get everything. So once the catalog goes live, we as demonstrators can get everything just the same as you. So some, I wanna show you some new things that I 
that I got that I hadn't been able to get before. And here they are. I got a whole stack of stuff in addition to all the share stuff. So one thing was, is, let me just put this to the side so we can look at each thing individually. These are 2020 to 2022 in color square gems. Aren't those neat? Um, let's see if they're adhesive backed. I want to say they are. Hey, Robin. Good to see you. I won't tell anybody that you're watching from work. We'll keep it a secret. Okay. So they are adhesive backed. Yes. So these are beautiful square gems. I don't know when we've had square gems, so I'm kind of excited about those. Um, I got a new embossing folder, and it's called Pretty Flowers. I went ahead and got this. I love flowers, and it looks pretty nice to me. So I'm just going to go through these things to show you what I got. Okay, I got some other new embossing folders that are brand new. It's called uh, Checks and Dots, and these are small ones that go in our uh, little mini mini stamp and cut and emboss machine, the little mini boss. So here are the squares, and here are the little dots, and I think we're really gonna enjoy those. Now, I'd already gotten on my pre-order. Hi, Allison. Yes, all the goodies. Okay, these are the uh, scalloped contour dies, which I had already gotten, and I could get, but did not get the color and contour stamp set. So I got that to go with it because I saw so many beautiful things made with it. So we're gonna be using that. In fact, I think our first class to go in a week or so is going to be using this, this bundle because it's so pretty. Okay, now I also ordered Forever Grapevine. This looked so nice in the catalog. Um, I didn't grab the page for you or anything because I just wanna show you this stuff quick and get onto our card. But it's a really neat set. It has this uh, label here in it, and it has a label die that goes with it. There's the label die, and it has this beautiful grapevine that kind of would come over a doorway or the corner of a card or something. The, these are called, aha, uh -huh, the grapevine dies. So I thought that was pretty. I also went ahead and got the Sending Hugs bundle. I kind of like the word hugs on a card. It's a nice thing to say. Um, it's just kind of a nice thing to say. And so the stamp, let's take a look. The stamp has all the flowers around it and some nice sentiments. But one thing I really liked was these dies. And not only is there a die that has the flowers around, but also a plain. Can you see that hugs? And I wanted to get that plain one mostly, and it has a couple of small label dies. So I thought that was a neat set. Patricia, you just joined Stampin' Up? Wow, congratulations. Excellent. Yes. Allison, what, what's on page 19? The hugs are on page 19? Okay, great. You keep up with that so that everybody knows where we're going. Another set that I got, let's see. I got these particular dies. They're called the Encircled in Beauty dies. I didn't get the um, stamp set, but basically they're doilies, and I love doilies, and I'm just so excited. This just stuff just came a couple hours ago. I haven't even gotten taken much of this off. So look at that neat. Isn't that gonna be fun? I feel like I'm just gonna use these a lot. The hugs was on page 19. Okay, thanks, Allison. So that is the Encircled in Beauty dies. Then I got the Henna Heart stamp set. It doesn't, it's not a bundle, but I don't know, I think it's kind of retro and I just really liked it. I like these little squiggly things. So I'm just gonna try this. I'm gonna see how it works out. Oh, you didn't join. Okay, you joined my Facebook Live. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, Patricia, good to see you. Um, I'm glad you're here. Uh, and then I got this stamp set called Create with Friends. I think we're going to love this because, you know, um, we've loved some big words before, um, big words that are stamped. It doesn't come with dies. But 
I think these are gonna be really fun. That last word is create, love, and then all these other words. I think we're gonna have a real, uh, these are gonna come in really handy and really practical. So I'm excited about these, create with friends. And I did get all the papers for the paper share, but I'm not gonna, I haven't even had time to open them all up. So I'm gonna put all this stuff off to the side now. The henna hearts are on page 100, Allison, thank you. And page 36 is Create with Friends. I appreciate you telling me that because um, that way you can all look these things up. Um, two papers I wanna show you, and one is gonna be the peach. But the other one, these are my two favorite papers. Well, maybe. I also liked hand-penned is beautiful. But this paper is Expressions in Ink, and this is a specialty paper. And most of you, if you have the catalog, you've probably seen it. Um, it's watercolored. It was done by hand by an artist and then put on, somehow made into papers for us. And one side has gold. Can you see the gold? There you go. Isn't that just spectacular? So it's almost like we don't even have to do our own watercoloring. It's already in there with gold and all we do is put a sentiment on it, right? I don't have the bundle that goes with it. I actually won that in a demonstrator contest. And so I'm waiting for the bundle to come, but I did go ahead and get the paper. And I've got the pages um, so you can see the backs and fronts because they're just so spectacular. Look at that. You see that gold? Isn't that beautiful? And here's the back side of that one. Um, is this the gold side? No. The, oh, yeah, that's the back side. The back side doesn't have gold. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I love this one. Patricia, yes. Look at that. Look at these. Oh my goodness. Look at the gold in there. Isn't that just neat? And here's the back of it. Just a similar thing with some water drop looking things, but no gold. Another one. Greens and kind of blues. And this is the back of that one. Look at this one. I think this is going to go well with the peach set too. I want to try to get the gold for you to see there. Now you can see the gold. I'm trying to show it to you. It's so beautiful. Oh my gosh. And here's the back of that one. And what about this? Look at this gold lines. Wow. And here's the back of that. Now, one thing I want to show you today, um, in case you didn't know, because sometimes you may be wondering, what are the colors in here? Well, I want to show you on the back of your label. I'm going to try to get this up so you can see the label. Okay. On the back of your label, it says right under here, under the name of the paper, it tells you the different colors that are in it. So when you get your paper, save this if you want to, to tell you the different Stampin' Up! colors that are in the paper. But I also want to show you another place you can look for that. And that is in the catalog, woohoo, we get to open it, yay! So this is page 97, and this is where the paper is, is uh, highlighted. And right here, look at this. These are the colors in the paper. They have little uh, rectangles of the color, so you can see the color, and also the name. So polished pink, pale papaya, pear pizzazz, just jade, shaded spruce, and evening evergreen. So you can tell what colors, if you look in the catalog, if you pull those colors out, you're going to, you're gonna have a very well coordinated, color coordinated card. Okay, now let's take a look at the peach set. Let's look at the papers first of all. They are beautiful. Look at these papers. Okay, yeah, I think I have them organized. Maybe because I've used a few. We're going to use a few today. This is balmy blue that goes along with it. Yes. Yes. I'm glad that's useful for you, Allison. Um, this is really cute. Balmy blue flowers. This one we're going to use today. Beautiful stripe. I am assuming these are peach blossoms. 
and a beautiful balmy blue stripe. They're, they're really not showing up quite as beautiful as they are. Here are, it's just a page of beautiful, beautiful peaches. And we're gonna use a little of this today, polka dots, and a little of this today, some greens, and here's the back of that, more little peach blossoms. And I love it. I love, love, love this. It seemed like there was something else I was gonna tell you about this. This is the, let's look at, open it up and look at it. It's page 60 and 61 for this sweet. You're a peach is the name of the sweet. And here are some cards they've made, sample cards. It comes with the, the sweet comes with the paper, the bundle, the bundle in the paper, and they have mini jam jars. You might not think so much of these, here they are, and you're thinking, why get these? Well, I got the bundle and these are plastic. So I don't really make jam, but I can picture using these not only for gift giving with little tops like that from the paper, but okay, I was thinking embellishments, right? Or maybe a little stash of chocolate in my craft room while I'm working on my crafts. I mean, that's just being a little selfish thing, but I just really think these are gonna be a lot of fun, a lot more fun than just thinking of jam and jelly, right? So those are the, those are the little um, mini jam jars. Okay, now we're gonna get started with our card and I'll show you the card I have for you today. And I just made it as soon as everything arrived and look at that, oh my gosh. It is, it's gorgeous. This suite is so beautiful. Isn't that just cute? I'm gonna sh show you a little up closer and we're gonna use it. Okay, this card is, um, and here I've stamped a peach on the inside. Oh, I know what I wanted to show you. Both of those papers that I just showed you, they're from stamp sets that are distinctive. And I wanted to show you how to tell if a stamp is distinctive because we're gonna see how beautiful it is today. So I've circled this. Let me get it up so you can see it. There we go. Next to the stamp in the right cor corner, it says it's a distinctive stamp set. And that's for the artistically inked. And then for the um, Sweet as a Peach stamp set, the same thing. There it is, distinctive. And that is what makes these cards these stamps and th therefore your cards <coughs> excuse me so beautiful so let's get started here is the stamp set sweet as a peach I like the sentiments I think the sentiments are really pretty sometimes I write like that I used to more I think when I was younger you know with that straight up and down it's got peaches it's got peach blossoms and leaves and little baby peaches, and the sentiments are good. Then here are the dies, and I think they're all on here, let's see. I'm supposed to have 17, look at all these little leaves. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I think I have 17 dies on there. That is a lot of dies, really a lot, and we're gonna use some today and see how, it, they're, and they're called peach dies. Okay, so let's get started with our card. Here's our card base, which is um, 11 by four and a quarter and scored at five and a half. And then I'm bringing in, because um, one of the colors, oh yes, here are the colors that were on that page in the catalog that go with the paper. Look at those gorgeous colors. Pear pizzazz, calypso coral, balmy blue, Bumblebee, Mango Melody, and Pale Papaya. They are beautiful. And so we know that Pear Pizzazz is one of the colors, so I'm gonna use that for my background piece. This is uh, four by five and a quarter. I'm just gonna pop that on the front right there. And that just adds a little bit of, um, just a little brightness 
to the paper. It just brings in another color and makes it look bright. This is that pretty striped paper. It does look a lot like Summer Allison, it really does. So we're just gonna pop that on there. Make sure I get it up where you can see it. So that's our beginning. I mean, even with that, isn't that just a beautiful beginning to a card? Now what we're gonna do is make our strip that goes across the uh, center of the card. And the sentiment I've decided to use today is thanks so much. I'm going to stamp it in pear pizzazz. And I'm bringing in my uh, Stampin' Pierce mat because this is, a, oh, another thing I want to show you. I had so many things I wanted to show you today. The new photopolymer stamps, which are really clear, right? Look what they have inside now. I think I've mentioned this to you before. The inside cover, this is the paper cover, has a picture of the stamps. So you know if you have all your stamps, you just put them right over that picture. Isn't that neat? I really like that. So, okay, I've got um, one inch by four inch piece of basic white cardstock, and I'm gonna stamp it with thanks so much, the sentiment, in pear pizzazz ink. I've got an extra piece in case I make a mistake. I'm gonna draw it a little closer to myself, okay, so that I can really see what I'm doing here. It was easy to stamp the first time. Yeah, look, that it, it's really easy to get even and it looks, I, it's a good stamp. You know, some stamps are just good stamps, and that's a good one. Okay, um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with this green pattern from our designer series paper. Then we're gonna put, I'm gonna glue this on, and then we're gonna glue a little tiny strip of another designer series paper, and I'll show you how we're gonna do that. So this is Pear Pizzazz ink, and the paper is kind of Pear Pizzazz. Whoops, I thought that was four inches. It doesn't look like it, does it? Whoops. Let me see. Here's my little tiny paper trimmer. Let me just check that. I've got glue on here, but I can clean that off later, but it doesn't look like it is four inches. Okay, what is not four inches? Oh, it must, okay, it must be all four inches. That's where I made my mistake. Sorry, I got worried there for a minute. Now I have to go clean that glue off my little trimmer. <laughs> oh, well, that's me. Okay, so there is our sentiment piece. And then remember I showed you this polka dot paper? And we're, this is just a quarter inch strip of that polka dot paper. And we're just gonna glue it right down on here. I wanted to show you um, several of the papers and how pretty they are and how pretty they combine together. So I purposely raised my sentiment when I stamped it a little bit higher like that. And actually, let's see if I can bring this down just a little bit for you. So you can see, does that help any? I don't know. And then I'm just gonna put this right across there so it just adds a little bit of interest, right? Just like that. And let me show it to you up close. So it's got several layers. And now we're ready to just put it right across about, and it's gonna go from each side of the pear pizzazz piece about two-thirds of the way down, and we're gonna do that with Stampin' Dimensionals. Put a few on here. I think we'll use three. One, two, three. Are these your happy colors, Patricia? I'm not surprised. I think they're almost, they're just beautiful colors. That's all I can say. They're just gorgeous. Okay, now there's our sentiment, and now we're going to what I would call decorate. Decorate our card, because we can do anything here. Now I'm gonna get out some um, basic white paper, and we're gonna start stamping, and you can see how beautiful these distinctive stamps work. 
And here I'm bringing in some Calypso Coral ink, and I'm gonna stamp my peach. Here's the peach stamp. Looks pretty normal, right? But wait until you see it stamped. Let's see, I think I'll put it up this way. This distinctive stamp is just, this, the way they're made is just cool. Look at that. Look how that stamps. Isn't that just the neatest? It doesn't it look very realistic. I think so too. Um, and now we're gonna stamp some leaves, the leaves that go on the peach. And they, this all, all of this that we're stamping right now has coordinating dies and we're gonna cut it out with our dies. So here's our leaf and again, our two leaves. And look closely, you see it's all shaded. It, it really, it looks like someone hand painted it. Alrighty, now we're going to pull in, and I'm gonna to try to do all the stamping at one time. We're gonna pull in another piece and we're going to use this stamp that is a kind of a peach leaves and branch. And we're gonna put that right up here. Again, see the shading and we're gonna fill that in, so don't worry. Okay, and what else do we need to do? Oh, we need to do, here are three little peach blossoms, okay? There was another stamp that was three um, peaches, baby peaches, but these are the blossoms. And I'm gonna go ahead and do these again. Oh, thank you for sharing, Patricia. And I'm gonna do these in uh, Calypso Coral also. Like that. See how, how interesting that comes out? And let me see, I think I'll do another one just in case I want some more. Alrighty, now the only color that I use that isn't one of the colors in the paper is a little bit of crumb cake because there's this little teeny tiny tiny stamp that is the inside of the flowers. And so I want to use a little crumb cake on that so that they really do look like flowers. See how that, it just looks a little, it makes it look really like a flower, doesn't it? So you do have to be just a little, you have to pay attention, I guess is what I'm saying, to get the stamp in the center of the flowers. A while ago when I was practicing, I got one really off toward Jones's and I couldn't use that flower. But by the time you do this, aren't they, don't they really look like flowers there, darling peach flowers? Okay, now we're ready to die cut. And all of these uh, dies can be used with the um, mini stamp and cut and emboss machine, the little mini boss. And I'm gonna show you, you might have noticed that I cut all of my papers, there are three, three inches wide. Let me put it down here where you can see it. Let's move things around just a tad bit. So all the papers are three inches wide and I've got my scissors. Well, I could do this all on one piece, couldn't I? Let me see, let me see here. Okay, let me get my dies out. And this is the die for the leaves. You know, I think I'm gonna to wanna to do these separately just so that I can make sure everything gets positioned correctly. If I try to do both at a time, it's a little hard to watch them both. You know, you can use um, washi tape to secure your dies right where you want them. But what I find generally is that if I get them lined up and leave them alone, I can just put the top plate on and it really comes out pretty good. Let's try it here. Just lay that down and then hold it. There we go. And let's see how these leaves came out. There, isn't that pretty? That is what we need to attach our flowers. Okay, now we're going to cut our little 
the flowers, the actual flowers. And where did I just put, oh, they're right here, and the die for them is here. And for the die for these, you've got three at a time. In fact, I think I'm going to switch out these plates. I'm gonna put this one here and see if it makes a difference. Um, so you just position the die right over the flowers and you can cut three at a time, which is pretty handy, pretty handy. And I, I did six because I used quite a few on my sample card. Okay, and then I'm just gonna lay it down carefully and hold. Yes, Kay, good to see you. So here are three little flowers that I've got cut right there. I'm gonna put those over to the side because we're gonna put those on our card and position them in a bit. And now we're gonna cut the other three. You know, I don't know about you, but I'd rather have too many than not enough because when I'm putting little flowers around, it seems invariably like I think, oh, I should add another one here or there, or I should take one off here or there. And I like to be able to just play. Okay, so I'm just gonna press that right down. nice to be able to do this right here at my desk. I don't know how you feel about the mini stamp and cut and emboss machine or if you've gotten it, but it really is fun to just sit here right at your desk and not have to get up. Okay, now the next and the last two things we need to do are the peach and the leaves. You've got to do that peach, right? Okay, so here is the peach die. And here are the leaves. They came kind of like that with the leaves inside and I decided to leave them like that on my magnetic uh, board so that I know they're the two that kind of go together because these are the leaves that sit right on top of that peach. So let's see if we can do these two at one time here. I seriously love that peach. Who loves peaches? Tell me if you love peaches. I do. I like those white peaches. I guess we could do this in a white kind of look. You know those white peaches that come out in the summer? I really like those. Oh boy. Nope, that didn't make a difference. Okay. Press down. And see, when you keep your paper three inches wide, you know it can go through your little mini cut and emboss. Um, I measured it and it's basically three and a half across. So if you have, if you cut your pa uh, papers three inches, then any stamp that's less than three inches can fit on there. Okay, now we've done our die cutting and now we're ready to put our card completely together. So let's bring it back. And what I did first is I the first thing I did is put my cute little peach on there and its little its little leaves isn't that just darling peaches are one of the true joys of summer yes I agree so I'm going to use um, quite a few dimensionals and mini dimensionals okay so the first thing I'm going to do here is just put one dimensional on the center back of my peach and I want it to kind of hang over right here, um, near that thanks so much, near the sentiment. So I'm just gonna position it up, down about as far as I can get it. And it's the same level because this uh, stri these strips were raised up on one dimensional and this is also. Now the only time I'm using a glue dot is with these leaves because I want to make sure they're on there correctly. So I'm just going to get put one little glue dot right on this stem. And then what I did is actually just kind of push it in so it's completely on the on the paper there and then stick it right on my peach. And it's not it's not adhering to the background paper at all. So there's my little stem. Now we're going to put in our 
uh, kind of branch. And let me look and see what I did before. Yeah, I kind of did like this, I think. And I raised this up on dimensionals also. And what I did is I, when you look on the back, you see that there are some areas that are quite large and really do fit a dimensional. And what this is gonna do is bring it up to the level of the peach. And so I'm going to try to get that. I think that fits in there. No, not quite. Maybe I only used one big one. Okay, well, we'll, we'll fix that. You can pull them back off. Okay, so let's use a couple of small ones then. It doesn't wanna come off my nail over here. <laughs> okay, so we'll get the mini Stampin' Dimensionals and we'll put one there and one every other place we can see that we can fit one. But basically, I think on the four areas here, that works well, those one, two, three, four areas, okay. And let's take our little um, papers off and then we're gonna position this on our card. Georgia peaches, ooh, yum. Okay, so. I really did want it to hang over the word, the you know, the sentiment a little bit. And so we just lay it down with the dimensionals on it, and there we go. That looks pretty good. And now we're ready to put our flowers on. Now one thing I had previously, for the card I did before, I had stamped a few flowers in um, the new pale papaya. And I've got three of those because I mixed them together on the, on the sample card. So I thought I would do that again here. And basically you just kind of play around. You just kind of see where you want to put them. And I, I glued most of them with just a little bit of glue right on here, right on the, the branch. I don't know if you call it a branch. I don't know really. And then I just put the flower right on there. Now this one I'm moving a little bit to the left because this is a little branch right there too. And I'm gonna put one of the, now this little guy, I might put on a mini dimensional. Um, you know, you just play around with it and just see what you wanna do. And so I think that one might look good. Let's see. Let's get his little, there we go. That's not too bad. Okay, and then we also need a large one over here. Maybe I'll do that with a dimensional also. And I don't know if there's any real rhyme or reason to where to put these. I just looked for places where the stem kind of has a little place with no leaves where it looks like a little flower would go. Okay, and here is, these are two other definite places. So this one I think I'm gonna glue. Put a little bit of glue right in there and put this guy on that. And then I think I'll put a little very small dimensional on this other one that is a pale papaya. Then we're mixing, then we've, we're ending up with, let's tuck him under this one. Whoops. Uh oh. Okay, get back up there. That'll dry in just a second. So they're all kind of just kind of in there together. Don't you think that's pretty? I really like it, I do. And now we have to put some bling on there, don't we? And I didn't get these in the pre-order, but I got these today, the Genial Gems. And maybe someone could look up, I don't know really what colors these are, but I do know they go great with this card. That's all I know. Um, pale papaya and soft succulent, I think. Okay, so let's put a few little 
genial gems on here. They really are cute. They have a lot of sparkle. I don't know if you can tell how much they're sparkling there. And I'll put a third one, and then I'm gonna put on two of the soft succulent ones. See, I think I'll put one down there just for interest. And then we'll use a couple of the smaller soft succulent. Let's just go there. And one other one. Let's see, maybe here. What do you think? Isn't that a darling card? I mean, it's the, it's the stamp set. It really is. Um, yes, they are very, very subtle. And you know, what we can do is I'm gonna get out the envelope. I'm not gonna do the inside of the card because we are um, going pretty long, but it's because this is just so cute and I wanted to show you everything. So I'm just, the peach stamps amazingly by itself. I just love it. So let's just stamp that peach right here. Isn't that just so pretty? It's that distinctive stamp. I, if you see a distinctive stamp, you know, order it. I, you are, I'm rarely disappointed with a distinctive stamp, I'll tell you that. And then here's my leaf. Make sure to get enough ink on there. And I'll just put that right up like that. Uh-oh, I did get a little boo-boo there. I wasn't paying attention. But isn't that just beautiful, though? And I'll do the inside afterward. You do need this set. Oh, it, okay, you do need it. It really is spectacular. Christy, Mint Macaron and Pale Papaya, thank you so much for helping with that. Mint Macaron and Pale Papaya. Whoa. Um, so thank you so much for stopping by. I want to remind you about my paper shares. My paper and ribbon shares, I've got two left available. I, um, Based on everything I've received today, I'm gonna have two more shares available. The paper shares are $40 plus $8 shipping. The ribbon shares are 20, 20 or 25, I think, with $5 shipping. Uh, text me, message me um, if you're interested. And I want to include you if you're interested. So thank you so much for stopping by. Come back on Friday. I have a treat for you. I'm going to tell you in advance. It's Ellie's birthday on Friday. I know, right? I am really excited for it to be her birthday. I wanted to buy her a whole birthday outfit. My husband's like, you can't spend that kind of money just for, you know, just on her. So I'm thinking of some other things I'm going to do to dress her up cute for her birthday. So you be sure to come back. Okay, thank you guys so much. Um, I love being with you, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.